All right, so this is round three of the Silver Black Standard Tournament. Uh, and I'm not sure what I'm playing against, so we'll see. But I do get to play first. Um, this looks okay. Um, might not be great with just Militant and Selesnya Charm, um, depending on what he's playing, but I get Triumph Ferocity, which can be building up something strong. Um, so against an unknown opponent, I don't really know, so I think I'll just go ahead and keep and see what happens. Not sure what that was. Okay. So let's keep and do it. Oh, he gets it. Oh, he's playing first. Oh, okay. Well, that <laughs> that changes everything. Not really. That's definitely keepable. Somehow I thought it said it. Okay, this new interface. That's really my my bad, but uh, it's working out just fine here, it looks like. <laughs> All right, let's go. Go, go, go. Go, aggro. Go, aggro. Why is this blinking? What was it saying? Not sure why. Okay, that's interface problems there. Esper. Gather Townsfolk. Hey, look, tokens. It's <laughs> amazing tokens. Slytic Slime. Be super relevant later, that's for sure. Alright, let's attack. And we'll attack with Strangle Roots. Strangle Dangles. And trade with a human. Nope. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Start taking the beating. And as much as I'd like to block, I cannot because lingering souls. So that was misplay. That was bad play. What I do is I play Triumph and pass the turn, and then block with Strangle Root, so that if he plays another Tangible Virtue, uh, or, yeah, or another Tangible Virtue, then he's got three threes and I don't get to draw a card. So that was like a waste of a turn. So in order for that to have been any relevant at all... Yep, see, fuck, my, screwed myself over. That was bad play. Bad play, bad play. And now I'm definitely in trouble. This could still be okay. It's not the end of the world yet. I'm not dead yet. Right. If I think it's a third land, that's if he needs it. Draw cards. Yeah, get there. Alright. Really wish that wasn't one of these. Maybe I don't need these Evolving Wilds. I mean, it's tough. You want. I have 24 lands. You know, I need to get some white sometimes. So, like, there's four Guild Gates for sure. But do I need four Evolving Wilds too? Not really sure. If you see, there's a lot of coming to play tap lands that kind of screw me over in the aggro. But then again, I don't want to be screwed without any anything going on at all. So. It is tricky. Let's see. Okay. Do that stuff that doesn't really do anything. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and do this now. Let's see what we get. Do, 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 do. Put the planes into play. I'm expecting some Midnight Haunting, probably. Uh, so I'd rather just... Well, they're 3-3s three regardless, so I'll just attack with that guy. Maybe get in for something. Doing okay right now. Nope, get in there for 3. Yeah! Some damage! Get some damage. 
Yep, there's the Midnight Hunting. So this deck really has a problem dealing with the Flyers. Needs like a hurricane. Hey, another intangible virtue. That's neat. That is a lot of dudes. Well, and the cool thing is I cannot deal with any of those. Um, yeah, that's... I believe that's game if he attacks will spirits, because I can only... I can't, can't block the two flyers. That's a big problem. Cannot do that. Power five or greater. Alright, very good. So, what have we learned here today? <laughs> uh. Alright. So obviously Sundering Growth. Sundering Growth, Sundering Growth, Sundering Growth. And then we learned from last game that Hunt Beasts and Mumble Beast Trackers are bad. So let's gonna sleep. Uh Seraph of Dawns or the Flyers. Get come on in, come on in. And then, what else did we decide? These Slesnia Charms are not very good. Uh, so, I'll just leave one in. And, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, let's see. Woodburn Fence is kind of good. Blue and Ring. No, oh, that's for good to itself. Okay, so this is game two of round three, Silver Black Standard Tournament. Uh, we're dealing with Esper's tokens. So lots of flying token things. The guy had three intangible virtues last game. That was kind of rough. I'm not sure how this deck can really deal with that. Outside of now I have th a bunch of Sundering Growths and some Seraph of Dawns. So definitely flying spirit thingies are a problem. So whatever deck construction I do for next week, I'm going to have to figure out how do I beat those tokens. Alright, so I'm on the play this time. I don't like having one of my two miracles in my hand, but I have four land. It's going to come out eventually, uh, and I get a fat, kind of a decent quick start with a Geist. Um, my one of Guild Mage is I kind of rather have that's an end game thing, but, you know, I don't know, I think, I think this might be okay. Keep in mind that I only have four one drops, well seven total, three rancor and four um, dried militants. So it's not like I'm always going to have a one drop in my hand, and it's not all that necessary. Hasty hastes. And in case you care, the sound effects in the new client are ripped right from. The uh, the Duels of the Planeswalker game. It's the same ones that happen in that. So I hope you enjoy that sound. Unless you want not to have that. Hey, Dread Militant, there you are. So we'll attack. He probably has intangible virtue. And I do wonder if I'm relying too much on Dried Militant to deal with Lingering Souls to the point where I'm just letting it sit there the whole time. But like I said, ling Lingering Souls is such a threat that I do have to leave it there and can't, like, I mean, I can not I can deal with it once maybe if I'm lucky, but having four one ones that turn into 2-2 two -two or 3-2s or 3-3s, three that's a problem. All right, this is good. I'm in a good shape here. Let's attack with this guy. Cha. Keep attacking with the Strangle Roots. Block with Doom Traveler, probably. Nope. Alright. Wish I had a play there, but next turn I can play Acidic Slime if he's got something cool. So Shimmer and Grotto, that's a good idea. That's probably what I should play instead of all those Evolving Wilds. 
Oh man, what's he gonna do? Uh, wants to put a spirit out there, I guess. Does he have a pump ability? He can make. Uh, yeah, I'll fall in that trap. That'll be fun. I'll let you have your spirit. Avenging arrow. No, oh, that'd be hilarious. All right, blessing of nature is good. Uh, I could just do it on. Make a six-six guild mage. That seems pretty good. A five-five guild mage. I don't want to put on strangle root because that's a non-bow. Um, or I play the Triumph Ferocity, get another turn and draw. Um, six slime. I could just six slime out the plains with the Shimmering Grotto. Set them back a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I'd do that. Let me just take it, take out his land. Make him draw land. And I'm targeting the planes because I want he has to draw land to play an uh, intangible virtue, and I knew he was gonna play. I figured there was midnight haunting there, um, so now he has to draw a land to use a shimmering grotto. You know, if I get rid of shimmering grotto, yes, he doesn't. He I, I don't think it really matters that he doesn't have blue most of the time, or that he doesn't have a double color. I think it matters most that he's able to play intangible virtue when he has it, but he hasn't had it yet. I think he would have played it last turn, or I don't know, maybe he's playing Minute Haunting and then going to slap down Tangible Virtue, um, but either way, we'll just make him draw land to be able to play it. And again, I'm giving him more flyers, which yes, that is not great, but it is what it is. Again, I am a bad magic player, so, you know, I'm, I'm probably doing it wrong. But the good news is that he didn't draw land, and I can do crazy things to him now. So a 3-3, three, three, a 4-3, three, and a 3-3. Three, three. That's all good. And I could Alpha Strike here, I think. And I don't know what he could really do. His black, black mana. So he, he, the best thing he could do would be that Doomblade, whatever it is called for, uh, for mono-colored creatures. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna Alpha Strike. Cause let's see, if he gets a land and he plays Tangible Virtue, he hits me for ten. And then I kill him. So this way is much better. He can't kill any of my guys. Unless he has Tragic Slip. But that's a different issue in itself. He didn't. So he goes down to 7. Should be scooping at this point. I got a guild gate there. Alright, so we go to game three then. Alright, so 
thinking back to what that was, uh, I mean, it was an awkward hand at the beginning, and he did get mana screwed, but the acidic slime did help me out by putting him back. It was risky to do that. But again, if you want multiple colors in this format, you have to have Guild Gates and Evolving Wilds or Shimmering Grottos, and it just does not, doesn't really work, obviously, as well as having infinite shock lands and dual lands. So, you know, it's a little different, and you can take advantage of that. Um, as far as what could come out, I mean, his O-rings aren't very good either anymore. I mean, again, we're looking at we need to kill... Uh, he makes tokens, and then he pumps them up. So Sundering Growth kind of does that. There's Phant The Phantom Captain is kind of a thing, so O-ring will stay. I, I, I think I think it needs to stay for that. Um, Night of Glory doesn't do anything for me. The other thing I can think of is Rupron Defenses. Uh, I'm just going to run it again as it was. See what happens. Okay, so this is game three of round three of the silver, back, silver black standard. Uh, I kept a hand, uh, basically, Centaur Healer, Forest, Rancor, two Gilgates, Forest, and Oblivion Ring on the draw. Um, and here we are on my turn two. So I'm having a slow hand. He didn't have a turn two token maker thing. Uh, tangible virtue. Yep, that's good. Let's get the O-ring thing going on. I'm going to play a creature and O-ring next turn. So I can Rancor. Oh, that's cool. So, okay, that's neat. So if I click on the land, the dual land, I can make all these cards make white. So I will. I'll make them both add white. Do that. That's neat. Nifty. So that's a nice little interface addition. So he's gonna play probably Lingering Souls and have a bunch of tutus, and then I'll ring with the Intangible Virtue and Rancor in, or he'll draw Skull Captain. So that's interesting. Oh well, that just worked out fine and dandy to me. Um, because I can Rancor and intend and Oblivion Ring the Drag Skull Captain, so that's even better. Let's do that because I can Sundering Growth out the Untainable Virtue. <laughs> Let's attack to see if he decides to block for some reason. Rancor is so much fun to play with again. Such a basic card, but does so much good stuff. Paralyzing Grasp. Ah, well, that's interesting. Make me choose what I want to play my Sundering Growth on, huh? Depending on what he plays his turn, I'm, I can start making guys, so I might not care. Let's draw a skull captain. I th I'm gonna definitely wanna. Oh, well, let's wait. Yep, let's go ahead and suddenly go with my thing. I'll keep my guy alive. I mean, I'm opening myself up to have a huge. Blow out when he plays uh, Midnight Odding and has a bunch of three threes. But oh, this is really good though, because I can make a three three and populate. Take five, and then let's make a guy. And we can start populating. Yes, sir. It works. That one of gets there sometimes. Gotta be careful because I'm not uh, paralyzing grasp on that guy again. 
Oof. And intangible virtue. All right, so he's got some stuff going on now. He's ready. He's got two intangible virtues. And let's populate. Everybody populate. Do, 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 do. It's awkward. It's like... Uh, we'll make a centaur. Yay. I assume that little white square thing means tokens. Or copy of token. I don't really know what that means. Or if it matters. Let's all attack with everybody. Na 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 na. Good blocks. I think we're doing okay here. Yeah, Centaur coffee machine. That should be all she wrote. What one card in his hand must be amazing. They can see lingering souls to get a bunch of dudes. Yep. My two losses are because of and he spelled loses instead of losses, but that's all right. You don't have to not a spell to be a magic player. Everybody populate. And I can O ring stuff too. Hooray. Alright, so that's pretty good. So I win because of mana screw. It's always a good thing. I'll take that. If that's the nature of. A, a, a format that has very little mana fixing. So, two and one. I will take that. And, yeah, so, like, a, like all three matches I've played against Tangible Virtue and Lingering Souls and Midnight Hauntings and Spirit Things uh, and Token Makers. So, that seems to be a pretty strong choice, or at least common choice, on this format. So, I don't know. Uh, i got to look through the cards in Standard right now and see uh, what uh, what exactly would deal with that? You know, something like an infest, um, like maybe Golgari, with the ability to naturalize sun and growth type things to get rid of intangible virtues, and then have infest type effects in black. You know, and also Vampire Nighthawk seems really good against spirits in the air. Um, just having three toughness, you know, they have to have more than just one intangible virtue thing. Um, you know, that seems okay. Uh, I was tinkering around with the idea with the mono black with more of the homicidal seclusion type th experience where you're playing demonic taskmasters, uh, homicidal seclusion, and uh, with a couple other different kinds of creatures. So eh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll be messing around with some things and we'll see what go from there. So hopefully you guys liked checking out this silver black standard format. Uh, get online. I'm always I always want to play a game on Moto. I've got a bunch of different decks going. I'm working on Is It Delver. As you can see, Black Red Aggro. I got a, a Mono White Angels deck, Mono Black, uh, Homicidal Seclusion. There's a Green Red Werewolves idea. Lots of options. Uh, whatever you like playing in Standard, you'll probably be able to find a similar archetype that works in uh, Silver Black Standard, and as well as some other options. Like I said, Burning Vengeance is a deck that actually does pretty well. Uh, and all the flashback stuff. So there's lots of different things you can do uh, and try it out. So uh, thanks for checking this out, and just go ahead and add me. Don't forget to add me. Uh, Bad Magic Player is my username on uh, Moto, and check out Bad Magic Player on Twitter, as well as thanks for continuing to read badmagicplayer.com.